So you've heard all about the Burr Method. You know that it stands for buy, rehab, rent, refinance, and repeat. You know that a lot of real estate investors use this method to generate monthly cash flow and build a real estate empire. And you probably know that it can quickly build your rental portfolio with little to no money out of pocket. But how does Burr actually work? And how can you really put little to no money down on every property you buy? Well, let's pull up our Burr roadmap and take a little trip today. Our destination, Wealthville. So we're starting right where we're at in life. Maybe that's somewhere nice and comfortable or somewhere, well, not so nice and comfortable. Either way, we can all make the same trip together. It all starts with setting goals. Every journey needs to begin with this step because unless we're winging it and don't care if we get lost in the journey, we should know where we're going. So stop here and ask yourself things like, why do I want to invest in real estate? Where do I want to invest? How many properties do I want to own? How much cash flow do I want to generate? These may seem like obvious questions, but everyone will answer them differently. So take a second to think about your answers. Once you have them, hop back in and let's move on to the next step on the Burr Roadmap. Search. Yep. Before we can go any further, we need to take time to search for properties. And by properties, we mean under market properties. These are not found on the MLS. They're usually found by wholesalers, investor-friendly realtors, or other real estate professionals who know how to find off-market, discounted properties. But hold on, before you buy one of these undermarket properties, you need to hop back in and roll forward to the next stop on the Burr Roadmap. Long-term loan approval. Again, before you buy a house, you need to find out the maximum loan amount you can qualify for. That way you can maximize your refinance later in your Burr journey. Once you have a pre-approval letter from a long-term lender, like a bank, then you can go ahead and buy that undermarket property. Which moves us along the Burr Roadmap to our next pit stop. Buy with a short-term loan. Short-term loans, like hard money, are key for closing properties fast. And undermarket properties require fast closings. We're talking about closing in a couple of days to a couple of weeks at most. Once you close a property, then it's time to rehab. Most Burr properties will require some or a lot of repairs. Since this isn't a fix and flip, you don't need to worry about going all out and using high-end finishes. Remind yourself, this will be a rental, so make it appealing, but don't go overboard. You just want to make sure you improve the property enough so that it meets the after repair value, aka the ARV. What is the ARV? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's the value of the property after you repair it. And again, you need to renovate enough to meet the ARV since it plays such a huge role in the bird journey. Once you're done renovating, it's time to move forward on our roadmap. Rent. Find a trustworthy, reliable tenant and rent the property to them. This is where you get to start generating that awesome monthly cash flow. But hold on, you're not quite done yet. You have one more, very important stop before you reach Wealthville. Refinance. Most short-term loans will be expensive, so you don't want to get trapped in one for longer than necessary. You want to refinance out of it and into a much cheaper long-term loan. This is why we stopped earlier for our long-term loan approval. Now we don't need to stall out and wait for it here when money is going out the door to pay for an expensive short-term loan. We can get in and get out fast. Once you're in a cheaper loan and have a tenant renting your property, then you've done it. You've reached the highly sought after wealth bill. It's a great place to be and even greater if you're willing to take the journey again 
and again, and again. Repeat the Burr method until you've reached the goals you set during our very first stop on the Burr roadmap.